Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Priya Sipaha and today we are going to discuss a very very common and a simple topic yet some of the person are having a problem to understand it that is what is the difference between cognizable offense and non-cognizable offense. So let's start. First of all it is necessary to understand what is cognizable and what is non-cognizable. So Cognizable and non-cognizable are the type of offences which has been mentioned under Criminal Procedure Code of India. That means there are certain type of offences which are very heinous in nature and there are certain type of offences which are very, not very heinous in nature. So that's why in some cases it may happen that police is having a power to take a sumo to action. That means sumoto action means when a police is competent enough to take action with themselves only. For example, that if there is a murder or if there is a robbery or if there is such type of serious offense, then police is having a power to take a sumoto action. That means he may start the investigation by his own without taking a permission of any court. So that comes under cognizable offense. And what is non-cognizable offense? Non-cognizable offenses are those offenses where police cannot take sumoto action. That means they are not having a right to take action without taking a permission of any uh, court. So that is non-cognizable offense. Usually those offenses are not very serious in nature. So the first difference between the cognizable and non-cognizable is cognizable in cognizable offense police can take sumoto action without taking a permission of any court. But in non-cognizable offense it is necessary for the police to take a permission of the court then only they can start their investigation. Now the next is cognizable offenses are usually more serious in nature. Like in cognizable offense, the offenses are murder, rape, decoity, robbery, etc. Whereas if we talk about non-cognizable offense, they are usually lesser serious in nature like defamation, forgery, cheating, etc. Now the third difference. The third difference is in cognizable offense, police can arrest anyone without a warrant. Whereas in non-cognizable offense, it is necessary that there must be a warrant which must be issued by a competent authority, then only any person can be arrested. So that comes under non-cognizable. The next difference is in cognizable offense, anyone can lodge an FIR or make a complaint. Whereas in non-cognizable offense, usually there is a complaint. Now people also get confused between what is the difference between FIR and complaint. And they usually also get uh, understand that both are one and the same thing, but they are different in nature. And I will discuss this thing sometime in my next video. So, for you it is necessary to understand that there is a difference between FIR and complaint. In cognizable there can be an FIR or there can be a complaint. Whereas if we talk about non-cognizable offense, there is always complaint. So this is all about the difference between the cognizable and non-cognizable offense. Hope you understand and like the video. And if you like it, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel. You may also follow us on various social media platforms by the name of Law Colleague you. We are having a page on Instagram, in LinkedIn and FB and in Twitter. And we are also having our website that is lawcolleague.com. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.